Hey everybody, I'm in my kitchen today and I'm not cooking. I'm coming to you with some information about my um, Facebook page for the next few weeks about myself and also asking prayer uh, for something that I've got to go through. Uh, recently, I have learned that I have to have surgery, which means that I'm not gonna be able to cook for a few days or a few weeks. And so I just wanted to tell you that. I remember last summer I took some time off and all of you wondered where I was and it was just because I needed some much needed rest and I was helping with our granddaughter's wedding and it was a wonderful time. But you all mean so very, very much to me and I wanted to share this with you. I ask for your prayers. I know that God is going to be with me and see me through. I know that I'm not the first person who has ever gone through this. Uh, and I have a very strong support system. First of all, I have the Lord on my side and I know that he's gonna see me through. I have a wonderful family. I have a wonderful uh, church family and friends. And most importantly, recently in my life is that I have you as Facebook followers who are very special to me and whom I know are praying individuals. Um, what is going on with me is that I have been diagnosed with myelopathy, which means that I have compression um, on my spinal cord that's causing damage. Now, I have two areas, I have two discs that are involved and that's what the surgery will be. Um, and I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. But the symptoms that I started having, first of all, I started having pain in my neck. And the next thing that happened was that I had started having bilateral tingling in my arms and in my hands. And then I began to lose feeling in my hands. So I contacted my doctor and uh, I had an MRI. I met with the doctor and his staff and it is urgent that I have this surgery. So I'm scheduled for April the 16th, Tuesday, April the 16th, and I won't be able to be on, but what I'm hoping to do is to get some videos made and um, to be able to give you updates as to how I'm doing and when I'll be back. And you might even see some old videos during this time. But what they are going to do, they're going to do an anterior, anterior cervical um, discectomy and fusion. That means that they'll go in, they'll remove the disc, um, and they will replace it with an artificial bone, put a plate on it, and screws in to secure it. Uh, and again, this involves two discs, and what makes mine a little bit more complicated is that in the early 90s, I had a, a fusion in my neck, uh, and it took, and once you have surgery, and then you have to have it again, then it does make it a little bit more complicated. But I wanted to share that with you. I'm very optimistic. Uh, I do have strong faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I know that he's gonna see me through and that he's gonna help me to keep my Facebook page going. It's very uh, special to me. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, and I know that you do because you tell me that you do and that, that means a lot to me. So I would ask that you um, feel free to share this video. I want every praying person who possibly will and is willing to, to be praying for me that the surgery will go well, that my doctor um, will be focused, and I know he will, and that he'll be able to do his job, that the medical team will um, be wonderful, and I already know they are because I've already met so many of them, and, and they're very caring and kind people. So with that, um, I would just ask that you pray for me, that you put me on any prayer list that you might have an opportunity to, and it would just be fine with me if people all over this world were praying for me because I do believe in the power of prayer. I've witnessed it too many times in my life, and I thank the Lord that he 
does hear our prayers and that he does answer our prayers. He doesn't always answer in the way that we want him to. He doesn't always answer at the time that we want him to, but he does hear and he does answer our prayers. We are his children and he loves us so much more than we ourselves love our earthly children. And there are no words to describe that. So with that, I'll leave you today. And um, I will, as I said, I will post as much as I can. I will ask my family to give updates initially. And then I will be back. I promise you, I will be back. Um, happy, feeling better and ready to cook up some more good recipes. So until I see you again in person in my kitchen cooking, I just want to tell you again, I love you all, and I appreciate your prayers, your love, and your support.